With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, uh, here in this question it is given that the galvanometer shown in the figure has a resistance value of uh, 50 ohms. Okay, so this is the resistance value of the galvanometer and the current required for the full scale deflection is given as a 1 milliamp. Find the resistance value R1, R2 and uh, required to convert uh, to convert into convert it into ammeter having the ranges as indicated. Okay, <clears throat> so this is a question that he has given. So if you look into this particular figure, we have the galvanometer with the resistance of uh, 50 ohms and we have the two resistors along with that we uh, named as R1 and R2 so the uh, full scale deflection uh, current required for the full scale deflection value is uh, 1 milliamp it seems okay so we have 1 volt and 10 volts both the voltage uh, voltage values we have so let us suppose this has the end A and this has the end B so which is connecting to this uh, both the points both the voltage points we can say okay so we have the resistance of the galvanometer and the current value can be written as uh, i is equals to 1 milliamp so 1 milliamp can also be written as uh, 1 into 10 power minus 3 amps okay so by applying kirchhoff's uh, law kirchhoff's loop law in the a b c d a b c d a okay so here this point is d and this point is E and this point is F okay so I'm just applying in the A B C D A again okay so A B this is a C point D and A in the first loop so we will get 50 plus R1 into I will be equals to 1 so this is a KVL okay so we will write 50 plus R1 we have the value of the current uh, as 10 power minus 3 so that will be equals to 1 so we will get uh, by simplifying the equation we will write 50 into R1 will be equals to 10 power 3 so that will be equals to 1000 okay so we will write the R1 value as uh, R1 value will be equals to 1000 minus 50 okay so we will get the value of R1 as uh, 950 ohms okay so now applying the Kirchhoff's loop law in the second loop that means in the A B F that means in the outer outer circuit we can say A B F E and again A so in the outer of this uh, particular circuit so by KVL in loop A B F E A so we will write in that uh, loop we will write 50 plus r1 plus r2 multiplied with i so that will be equals to 10 okay so we will write 50 plus 950 plus r2 the current value we have is 10 power minus 3 so that will be equals to 10 okay so we will write 1000 plus r2 will be equals to 10 power 4 okay and the value of the R2 will be equals to 10,000 minus uh, 1000. So we will get the value of the R2 as 9000 ohms. Okay. So this is the value of the R2 and this is the value of the R1 that we have found. Okay. So these are the values of the R1 and R2. So this is the correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.